two important and related beard concepts wrapped into one video, you're welcome. We're talking about answering the question, how hot is too hot for your beard? And that would be with a blow dryer or a heated brush, specifically what temperature is too much? And similarly related, hate that word similarly, related would be the idea of what actually happens to your beard hairs when you're applying heat. It's pretty cool. There's something called the glass transitional phase, which I'm gonna explain and it's gonna help you know like, wow, this wild process is going on and it will help you maximize the styling aspect so you can really dial in what's gonna be best for you. So if that sounds good to you guys, please hit a thumbs up on the video. You can change your mind if you end up disliking it later. I welcome that. But if you like that idea, if you like beards, if you like the channel, and if you have not already, consider hitting that subscribe button so you know when videos are coming out in the future, every Wednesday, Friday, Sunday, and it just helps out what I'm doing here. This is my passion, this is my love. The more people we get out to these videos, the better for me, for you, for beards in general, and we're just spreading some positive vibes. So thank you guys for everything you do for this channel. I'm gonna start very simply by answering this question and hopefully sticking something to it that will help you remember it forever. I'm gonna call this the year rule. It is pretty widely accepted that you should not go above 365 degrees Fahrenheit for heat temperature on your beard. Get it, a year, 365, all right. And, then, and as a teacher, I just wanna give you little tidbits that'll attach to your brain. Now, 420 degrees is where you reach the point of irreversible damage for pretty much everyone. Between 365 and 420 degrees Fahrenheit, that's where you get the gray area and we get to insert the phrase, everybody's beard is different. Once you get up to those ranges, you could be experiencing some problems or you could be okay, but I don't see a lot of benefit of going above 365 degrees. So my advice is stay under the year, but if you feel like your beard can handle more, if you feel like living on the wild side, never go above 420 degrees. And a big rule to add into that, always oil before heat. That is universal. Nobody's beard is different and prefers no oil there. Oil is the protection from that heat. And you can just use a beard oil, wait five to 10 minutes after applying the beard oil so it can absorb into the skin and into the hair so it's ready to take on that heat. And just any quality beard oil is gonna work. It doesn't have to be an Argan Shield or a spray beard protection, any of that kind of stuff. If it's a good beard oil, it's gonna work perfectly fine. Stick to that year rule. The purpose of applying heat to your beard is to style it in whatever style you would like, right? I love the phrase heat plus tension equals direction. Now that direction's up to you. Now what you want to do is be in the glass transitional phase. So what is that? The glass transitional phase is a temperature range where your hairs, your actual beard hairs, turn from their normal, brittle, kind of hard state to a rubbery, malleable state that can be styled and then once it cools, it remains styled for a set amount of time. Now, this comes from the idea of when you have glass, right? Once you heat it up to a certain temperature, I don't know if you guys have ever seen any like glass blowing shows, mesmerizing, addicting. There's one on uh, Netflix, check that show out. I forget the name of it. Uh, it's like forged in fire, but something with glass. It's fantastic. But when you see that, they can stretch it. They can blow it and make it all these different directions. Your hair gums, goes from this like hair-like feel to literally being rubbery, malleable, similar to that liquid glass. And then once you cool it, it locks into place. Now, this is why I always recommend finishing, whether it's with a heated brush or a blow dryer, bring in the blow dryer afterwards with that cold shot, that's gonna lock in that style much quicker and it's gonna stay for much longer. That is extremely important once you get that beard into that malleable state. Now you wanna do this of course with oil, but it needs to be on a damp beard. You will get damage if it is too dry or if it is too wet. Either side of that fence is going to be bad. You want it to be damp. The way I say that is 75% dry. Again, I've said many times, it's not a perfect number, it's just one I threw out there. What that means to me is your beard feels wet, but it's not dripping. That is the perfect state to add oil, let it sit for five to 10 minutes, and then apply enough heat, less than 365 degrees, usually more than 250 degrees. I wanna be in kind of that 100 degree range, 
let's go 265 to 365. That is when most guys are going to enter the glass transitional phase for the best possible styling. How cool is that? When I first started to learn about that, it really baffled me and blew my mind, but made so much sense at the same time. I am going to throw some citations down in the description, and these are really cool because they're very ranging from a recent like 2015 to the earlier 2000s to all the way back to 1967. This is nothing new. I did not just discover this uh, with some crazy deep research. Women have known this about head hair for a very, very long time, and the same purposes apply to the beard with slight adjustments with the, the oil and the dampness, right? I don't know a ton about the head hair, but I do know this information about beards. Very cool. Now we know how hot is too hot, and we know what's actually happening when your beard is able to get that heat and style and stay styled. I love it. First off, do you guys have any questions on this? Is there something that I missed that you're wondering? I may not know the answer, but I'll try my best to find it if I don't. And what did you think? Is this something you knew? Did you learn something? Was there something interesting that stood out to you today? I appreciate all that feedback you guys give in the comment section. Thank you for watching. Dancy Bearded, stay bearded, and stay positive.